In this module, I want to show you a more sophisticated example of using List along with LApply. This is a more practical scenario and something that you're likely to encounter when you're trying to analyze data in R. I'll be using as input an internal data set to R called MT Cars. Now this is built into every copy of R. So if you have R installed, you have access to this data. The head function will show us the first few rows of MT cars. If you type question mark MT cars, you'll get the background on the data frame. This is some data from 1974 Motor Trend magazine. There's 32 cars in this data frame with 11 variables, 11 columns. One of the more interesting variables in this data frame would be MPG. That's the first column in the data frame. So a reasonable question would be, what is the average MPG for this data frame? As we know, it is the first column. So it's a simple matter of taking those values, we can extract those very easily, and throwing them into the mean function. We simply provide it as input, and we've answered our question pretty quickly here. The Average MPG is 20.09 MPG for these 32 cars. A more interesting question would be, what is the average MPG per cylinder group? The second column, cylinder, CYL, tells us if a car has six cylinders, four or eight. Now I know that in this particular data frame, these cars are only four, six or eight, or cylinders. Another way to verify this is simply to extract that vector and you can see visually there's six, four, or eight. But if this data frame were much larger that would be a bit more challenging. So there is a function we can use to help us called unique. And if I pass the vector to the unique function it shows me only those values, uh, only those v values unique to the vector. 6, 4, or 8. So I'm guaranteed that a car is one of these three values. So we can think of cylinder as a factor. And if we wanted to find the mean MPG for each group, then each cylinder group we could do an analysis of variance to see if there are significant differences. What would be the best approach to solving this problem? That is, how would we most efficiently extract records that relate to a specific cylinder group? In R, there's always more than one way to do something. That's both a strength and weakness. But let's think simply about this and apply some basic logic. How would we first extract the records that relate to the cars with four cylinders? That's easy. The bracket notation will help us. This command, this statement gives us all of those records. So what we get back is a data frame, but only those records where the cars were four cylinder groups. So we could do things like this. If we wanted to know how many, we could pass it to the in row command. We see that 11 out of 32 cars have that characteristic. Now since we want to take a mean of the MPG, we might want to stash this. We could say something like for sil df, and this is pretty basic here. So we can extract the MPG just for that. We could take the mean. And we see that the mean for four cylinders is 26.6 miles per gallon. This is okay. But we would have to repeat this for the six-cylinder car and the eight-cylinder cars as well. And it could get a little tedious as well as error-prone. And ideally, we would want to write this up into a small script, perhaps, that we could share with someone else to make it easy. So let's think about ways to economize on the typing. Well, one thing that I can think of is that since this statement returns a data frame. This returns a data frame so I can tr simply 
address the MPG of the resulting data frame by using the dollar notation. Now you might have to stare at this a little bit to understand it. This is a little shortcut. So that statement, the one that you're, that's highlighted, returns a data frame. So I don't really need to store it into a temporary variable. I can treat it just like a data frame, and I can pass that to the mean function. That's one way to do it. And then I could substitute 4, 6, and 8, and then I would get my answer. I think that's an improvement, but it's still not exactly the best way to do it, because imagine if you had a data frame that had many categories, or if a factor had many levels, you wouldn't want to be doing this by hand. So let's look for a more generic approach. I'll make it easy on you. There is a function called split, which will do, do for us what we've been doing for ourselves here. It will take a data frame and a factor from that data frame, and it will split it up into groups. So instead of doing things ourselves, we may want to take advantage of that. If you look at the help page for it, for split, the first argument is a data frame. F will be a factor. And what we get back is a list. Okay, this is going to be helpful to us. So I will say my list split empty cars, empty cars dollar sill. All right, that was uneventful. Let's use the str function to see what is in my list. Well, I can convince you, hopefully, that what we have is a list with three elements corresponding to four, six, and eight, and each element of that list is a data frame. Okay, uh, the number of cars that have four cylinders is 11. The number of cars with six, seven, and there are 14 cars with eight cylinders in it. So just to convince you, if we look at the first list value, we see that's a data frame. Now based on what I just did, you can probably figure out we could put a dollar after that and extract the MPG for that cylinder group, and then we could take the mean. But that's really not any different from what we just did. As a matter of fact, it's slightly more work. So let's take this list that we have and find a way to use LApply with it. Okay, think about this. Here's one thing that we can do. I'll take the list. Now again, LApply is going to take each element of this list and pass it to a function. I'm writing my own function here, an anonymous function. So the X represents, it's a placeholder, for each element of the list. Each element of this list is a data frame. So I could do something like this, x dollar mpg. If I wanted to extract the mpg vector for each uh, element of the list, what do I get back? Well, this, this is helpful. I get back the mpg vector for each cylinder group. That's not exactly what I wanted. What we're after is the mean, but that's easy to fix. I just code it up like this, and now we have our means. So with one statement, I basically have my answer. Well, actually, that's more than one statement. Remember, I had to do the split, right? So, so just to review, what I did is this. Right? And then I did that. So two lines answers our question. Now, if, if you know a little bit about R, or you've been messing with it for a while now, you probably have picked up on the idea that we don't even need to create this structure. I don't even need to store the output of split into a variable. I could combine the L apply. We could do this all on one line. Now, this can be confusing. On the other hand, it is very efficient. And as you gain more experience with R, you wind up doing stuff like this yourself. And so there it is. One line processes the splits, and we get the answer that we need. Now, as uh, just to be complete here, notice what we get back as a list, and all the values are numeric. So technically speaking, we don't really need to even use a list here. 
we could use s apply right so we get back a vector or we could unlist the list and get something back we'll get the same thing back as a matter of fact okay so one line answers that question 